Hey everybody, this is Jennifer with Giddy Gen Plans. Welcome back to another Classic Tuesday. And if you would like to watch me plan in my new Golden Student Happy Planner for the week of August the 5th through the 11th, then just keep on watching. So today I will be filming another plan with me in this golden student. Honestly, it will probably be the planner of choice for the next few weeks because I am very, very excited about it. Um, I have been just dying to jump in this and I just absolutely love this planner so very much. And so today I pulled out all of my new student sticker books from this 2019 back to school release from the Happy Planner. I'm not really sure which one I'm going to use yet, but I definitely wanted to incorporate a little bit of all of them because not only will I be planning for the week of the 5th through the 11th of August, I'm also going to be planning or doing a setup video for the monthly layout in August. I have not done that yet. Um, I absolutely forgot to last week whenever I was planning the plan with me for last week. So. I'll be going ahead and setting up the currently page and the monthly spread for August and then I will be also doing my plan with me. I'll probably do the plan with me first and then just jump over and do the August spread so probably won't stop in between and I'll just show everything at the very end. So um, before we get started definitely follow me on Instagram at Giddy Gen Plans. Subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and click that notification bell that way you're notified each and every time that I do upload. Alright guys so without any further ado let's get started. So if you watched my video last week you will know that instead of using the student layout I ended up um, just taping a horizontal planner to this side and if you've watched my setup video um, you will know that normally I will have the student layout like right here and right here and then I will have a horizontal layout right in between that way I can plan both ways. I'll use this horizontal for the week and then I'll use the student section for each class and so I just wanted to have that extra in there. So since school has not started yet I ended up bringing this out and I will go ahead and tape it to this side as well and that is what I did last week and I really really like the way that it turned out because that way I don't have the student part in the way because I haven't started school yet but then I can go ahead and plan and make sure that I'm jumping in this planner because I really couldn't wait. I couldn't wait till the first day of school because I'm just too excited. So um, I will hurry through that. I might not even film me doing that um, because you saw how I did that last week. And so what I'm going to do real quick is tape this in and then white out everything, date it, and put the correct date on it. And then we will start with the plan with me. So I will be right back with that.
guys, so I was in the middle of filming the monthly layout and my memory card went dead again. So I thought, let me just hurry up and finish it, delete a few things, and then I'll come back on here. I think I have enough room to quickly film an outro, and then I'll have to move it all over, try to, and make some room. I've got quite a few videos that I have not edited yet that I've got to get off of here, and I only have one memory card, probably not the smartest but oh well um and so here is how the currently page for august looks it's very simple i think i always say that i just kept it really simple i use the student icon sticker book and i put these flowers right here of course that one was already there and then i put a couple of balloons because i do have some birthdays and I put some like confetti down here and then I put this think positive well it's two different stickers right there and so that is how that one turned out all right and so now for the monthly view this is how that ended up turning out um, I ended up using the student seasonal sticker book and the student icon sticker book for all of this and I really like how it turned out once again though it is just very simple but functional I did add a little bit of decor up here and I like how that turned out um, and of course I got my textbooks on Saturday and so I went ahead and put that sticker there and the books um, and something that really worked out for me last semester was what I do is I put a little class key over here and I use my midliner highlighters and I just make each class its own color I keep these in my backpack at all times or with my planner and anytime there's an assignment due I mark it that color and then write you know what the assignment is and the due or put it on the due date so that really really helped me last semester and so I definitely want to continue that because I have five classes a semester and each of them are in my program so I have to keep up with everything so yeah so that is how that turned out I had a couple of birthdays to add um, I added the day that school starts and then just I loved that yellow like golden yellow backpack and I thought it went with like the yellow flowers and so I really like that a lot and I love this sticker over here too and I like how the pencil turned out I just wrote classes so again very simple but very very functional all right and then last for the week of august 5th through 11th i ended up going with like a green theme um and i was not like going to do that um because i thought i know this is green but i don't have to stick with that green color but i did so um yeah so this is how this turned out um it's once again simple but very very functional um i really am enjoying this horizontal layout i don't know i've never had one in a classic size before i've only had one in the mini size so i am really really loving this horizontal layout so um one thing that i did and i should have thought of this last week um i ended up just taping like the horizontal page to the student and then over here doing the same and i thought well that's like it's so thick now so what i did for next week um i already know that i'm going to be planning in a horizontal because school still doesn't start and so i just took out the student page and ripped it up threw it away <laughs> um and so that way it's just not as thick and then i already have the week that school does start i already have it ready i've got them taped together and then i will start how the student planner is actually going to work for me i will still have uh, be able to ho uh, plan horizontally but i will also have the student section that way i can keep up with classes assignments homework tests everything so yeah let me turn back to this week's so that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I apologize about the memory card issue, but I definitely wanted to hurry and come back and show you how everything turned out. Um, and I think I'll start doing this like on the first plan with me in a month. I'll try to also do a monthly setup. So anyways, definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you have the Golden Student Planner, I would love to know. Um, how you're using it. Um, are you going to stick to the student layout or have you added a different layout to it? Maybe that's just me being very, very crazy. Um, I think the more that I use the Happy Planner, the more I know what works best for me. And so I'm really, really excited about trying this out. So that is it for today. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely give it a thumbs up if you do and I hope you all have a very beautiful day and I will see you very very soon. Bye!